Hi, I'm Dr. Connor. I'm one of the veterinarians here at Russell Ridge Animal Hospital, and today I'll be talking to you about anesthesia. Your pet may be mild to moderately disoriented following an anesthetic episode, so it's best to restrict their access to stairs and elevated resting places until they become steadier on their feet for the rest of the day. You can expect activity level to return to normal by the next day. Complications may include GI upset, constipation, lethargy, and or cough associated with tracheal irritation from the endotracheal tube. All of these signs are expected to resolve within 24 to 48 hours following an anesthetic episode. Brachycephalic breeds, including Himalayan and Persian cats, bulldogs, and pugs, have higher anesthetic risk due to their airway conformation. And giant breeds are monitored for potential bloat post-anesthesia. Our team members work closely to ensure the safety of your pet while under anesthesia. A preoperative physical exam and blood work are performed prior to any anesthetic episode to identify any underlying conditions that would contraindicate anesthesia. An IV catheter is placed to deliver IV fluids and injectable medications are administered prior to the anesthetic episode to assist the heart and maintain the anesthetic plane. An endotracheal tube is placed to protect the airway and administer oxygen and inhalant anesthesia. Eye lube is applied to protect your pet's eyes, and his or her pulse oxygen, EKG, and blood pressure are carefully monitored throughout anesthesia and into the recovery period. Pain control is a top priority with any anesthetic episode. Your pet will receive oral and or injectable pain medications prior to, during, and after procedures that require anesthesia as needed. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns regarding any future anesthetic episode for your pet.